video, I'm going to show you how to find y in terms of x when presented with dy by dx. Hopefully from differentiation, you'll remember that when given an equation, for example, y equals 2x cubed, when you're differentiating this equation, you're working out dy by dx. And because integration is the reverse process of differentiation, if we want to go from dy by dx back to the equation, y equals 2x cubed, we have to integrate. Okay, so that's exactly what I'm going to do here to find y in terms of x. So here is the first question, dy by dx equals 14x to the 6. So to work out the equation y equals something, I'm integrating this expression here, 14x to the power of 6, with respect to x. So remember, when you're integrating, you raise this power on the x by 1 and you divide by the new power. So if I raise this power by 1, I'm left with x to the power of 7. And then we're dividing this number here, 14, by the new power, which is 7. Okay? And remember to add your constant C. In this question, there's no way of working out what the constant is, but you must write it down. And then the last step would be to simplify. So 14 divided by 7 is 2. So the answer is 2x to the power of 7 plus C. Okay? And remember, this is an equation. Y equals this. So when it says find y in terms of x, you're finding an equation where y is the subject, okay? So I'm going to do exactly the same thing for question 2. Here we've been given dy by dx, it's 4 over the square root of x. So to work out the equation y equals something, I need to integrate. Okay, so y is equal to the integral of 4 over root x with respect to x. Okay, so before I integrate, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this fraction in power form. So it would be the integral of 4 over x to the power of half. Okay, remember whenever you're square rooting, it's the same thing as raising to the power of a half. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite it one more time before I integrate as it makes much more sense if I write it like this first. Okay, so I'm getting rid of the fraction and writing it in power form. So now I can integrate, and remember you're raising the power by 1. So if I add 1 to negative a half, I get positive a half. So we have x to the positive half. And then we're dividing this number 4 by the new power, which is a half. And remember to add your constant C, okay? And then you just have to simplify. So 4 divided by a half, well, that's the same thing as 4 multiplied by 2 over 1, which is 8. Or you could say how many halves are in 4? There are 8. Okay, so the answer is 8x to the half plus C. And then as a final step, you could just then take it out of this power form. Remember, anything raised to the power of a half is the same as the square root. So the final answer would be y equals 8 square root of x plus C. In question 3, we've been given dy by dx is equal to x multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 8. Okay, and again, we're finding y in terms of x. So the first thing I suggest you do is expand the brackets. Okay, so I'm going to multiply out the brackets, and I'm going to start by multiplying the first set of brackets by x. So x times x is x squared. x multiplied by 2 is 2x. And then you're multiplying all of this answer with the second set of brackets, x minus 8. Okay, so if I expand these... I then have x squared multiplied by x, which is x cubed. x squared multiplied with negative 8 is negative 8x squared. Then 2x multiplied by x is positive 2x squared. And 2x multiplied by negative 8 is negative 16x. Okay, and I can simplify this as I have 2x squared terms here. So I then have x cubed negative 8x squared plus 2x squared is negative 6x squared. 
Ooh, see that? Again. And then negative 16x. Okay, so all I've done to start with is I've just expanded and simplified the brackets. Okay, so this is dy by dx. So remember, to work out y equals, so finding y in terms of x, we have to integrate dy by dx, okay? So to work out the equation, we're integrating what I just wrote down over there, so x cubed minus 6x squared, take away 16x with respect to x. Okay, so I'm just going to integrate each term one by one. So if we take a look at the first term here, if I'm raising this power by 1, I get x to the power of 4. Remember, you have to then divide by the new power, so we're dividing x to the 4 by 4. Then if we look at the second term, and I increase this power by 1, I get x cubed. And remember, you're dividing this number by the new power, so it's negative 6 divided by 3. And then finally this term here, remember the power on the x here is 1. So if I increase the power by 1, I get x squared. And again, we're dividing this number by the new power, so negative 16 divided by 2. Not forgetting to add your constant c at the end, okay? So the final step is to simplify what we just wrote down. So the equation would be y equals x to the 4 over 4, that can just stay as it is. Here, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2, so we've got minus 2x cubed. Here, we've got negative 16 divided by 2, which is negative 8, so take away 8x squared, and then plus c. So there's our equation, we have found y in terms of x. In question 4, we've been given dy by dx is equal to 5x squared plus 3x plus 1, all divided by the square root of x. So before we integrate to find y in terms of x, it's a good idea to write this in power form first, okay? So if we just look at the denominator first, remember the square root of x can be rewritten as x to the power of a half, they're the same thing. And what I'm also going to do to try and simplify is I'm just going to rewrite this fraction as three separate fractions. So each of these three terms here divided by the square root of x. So it would look like this, 5x squared over x to the half plus 3x over x to the half plus 1 over x to the half. I just think it's easier to simplify if you do that step as well, okay? So when you're dividing the x terms, remember you have to subtract their powers. So let's look at the first fraction here. So if I subtract the powers, I'm doing 2, take away a half, which is 1 and a half. And if I write 1 and a half as a top heavy fraction, it would be 3 over 2. Okay, so there's the first term simplified. Now if we look at this fraction here, Remember, 3x is the same thing as 3x to the power of 1. So if we subtract the powers on the x terms again, we're doing 1 take away a half, which is a half. So we have 3x to the power of a half. Okay, and then finally this fraction here, I can rewrite this as x to the power of negative a half. Okay, so now that I've simplified dy by dx, I can integrate, okay, to find y in terms of x. So we're just integrating each of these terms here to find y, okay? So we're integrating 5x, 3 over 2, plus 3x to the half, plus x to the negative half with respect to x. Okay, so remember, you need to raise the power by 1 and divide by the new power. So if we look at the first term here, and we raise this power by 1, here it's one and a half, so if you add one, it takes you to two and a half. And if you write two and a half as a top heavy fraction, it would be five over two. So we have to divide this number here, five, by the new power, five over two. Okay, onto this term here. If I add one to a half, I get one and a half. And if I write that as a top heavy fraction, that would be three over two. And then we're dividing positive 3 by this new power, 3 over 2. 
And then the final term here, if I add one to negative a half, I'm left with positive a half. And it's like we're dividing one by a half for the last term. Okay, not forgetting to add your constant C. So now what we need to do is just simplify here the divisions to get the final answer. Okay, so I've got to work out 5 divided by 5 over 2. So I'm just going to do the calculation here so you can see what's going on. So 5 divided by 5 over 2 is the same thing as 5 times 2 fifths. Okay, remember you're multiplying and switching the second fraction upside down. So here, 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 over 5 is 2, or these cancel to give you 2, okay? So when you divide 5 by 2.5, you get 2. So we have 2x to the power of 5 over 2 for the first term. Then we're dividing 3 by 3 over 2. Okay, so if you use the same method, it's the same thing as 3 multiplied by 2 thirds which gives you 2 again. Okay, so this would be 2x to the power of 3 over 2. And finally here, we're dividing 1 by a half, which is the same thing as 1 multiplied by 2 over 1, or how many halves in 1? 2. Okay, so by coincidence, it's 2 again. Okay, so it's 2x to the power of a half, plus c. And as a final step, you could just rewrite this term here as x square rooted. Okay, and now we have found y in terms of x.